okay in this video i would i would like to make a simple tutorial about how to make a mechanical bearing with autodesk fusion 360 and maybe in the other video i want also make a assembly tutorial for, for this bearing and also with the other parts such as shaft and also pulley so please check on my channel about how to make the shaft pulley and other mechanical parts before i get started i just want to say that the process of uh, design especially 3d design is the combination between uh, art and also technical so it is not purely technical so it is always uh, if you have your own way or step by step it is always freely to use that and the principle of making this uh, design is how to make it as efficient as possible so if you want to edit it uh, it will easily find your uh, sketch for example and if you want to send it to your client which is maybe also the fusion 360 user they will understand easily okay let's just start it um to make this bearing i want to make a sketch the cross-sectional cross-sectional uh, view or cross-sectional sketch and then i want to revolve it so let's first make the sketch let's say uh, i want to make the center line first as the reference point then let's say i want to make the bearing with the shaft diameter of 14 eh, or maybe um, 12 20 millimeter and the outer diameter let's say um, 60 so you always check your standard about the dimension because some mechanical engineering design books or maybe some uh, manufacturer catalog has different uh, dimensioning okay I, I want to put the sketch in the middle by using this construction line and then utilize is utilize it as the symmetry line and the width of this bearing let's say um, 10 millimeter I think it is too uh, to large the diameter I will reduce it maybe um, 40 okay and uh, actually you can make the revolve from here to create the outer and inner part of the bearing but I also want to make the ball bearing sketch also here just to make it more efficient by using only one sketch we can make a lot of features and i want to cut here for example let's say the thickness of this uh, outer ring is two millimeter and the thickness of the inner ring is two millimeter as well or, or 2.5 maybe and the diameter of the the ball bearing let's say i want to make it oh, or maybe before we go here i want to make the clearance between the ball and also the uh, rings let's say the clearing will be 0 0.1 of course you should refer to your handbook to select the best size and then we set our diameter let's say uh, 6 millimeter okay it is still can move so um, I want to make the 
center line sketch or construction sketch in the center just to make sure it is perfectly in the middle mm, or maybe I want to make it 8 millimeter larger or 7 maybe okay and one more line maybe in the middle to separate this uh, ball so I can make the revolve for this uh, sketch okay let's just mix our parts first I want to make the inner uh, ring so you can always make it as new body or new component because it is only a single part uh, it is only a single component but has a lot of parts so I want to make it as a new body but if you want to use it individually for example the the inner ring will be individually with with respect to our outer ring and etc you will you uh, can use also this new component okay new body and I, I also want to reutilize our my sketch so I just make it visible and um, click this as a new body also and this sketch I will use revolve with respect to this axis so I can uh, cancel this axis to reselect it for example in this axis I can hide the sketch and now uh, I can make the pattern which is circular pattern for this body and uh, with respect to this axis let's say eight balls or maybe 10 okay so far so good we already defined our bearing now maybe the last uh, step is to define the uh, the cage or maybe if you want to add chamfer for this bearing you can edit your sketch to make chamfer here or maybe you can define the chamfer uh, in this 3d environment let's say I want to make this chamfer 0 0.5 and also uh, for this one also 0 0.5 let's say okay or it is too thin if you think it is too thin we can just easily edit it by uh, change this dimension let's say three like this maybe if you think it is just too thin and easy to break up and this is the advantage of using this uh, constraint dimension so we you will not error easily if you want to edit in uh, if you don't satisfied with your previous design okay let's do the sketch for the cage maybe I want to make the half of the cage first by utilizing this uh, origin and I want to make sketch here create sketch let's say um, the cage will be 33 diameter and the thickness let's say um, 1 millimeter I also use minus to make sure the direction is the negative direction and I want to extrude it through this thickness or I can also use this uh, to object to utilize the surface as the distance but I want to make it 
as a new body so it will not join with the uh, box so I want to hide the ring first by click this uh, object and it will automatically highlight in the body's 3 diagram so I can uncheck the view icon and I want to cut these rings maybe by using this combine and then using this cut so our target body is this ring and uh, the tool body will be this boss I also want to make the tool to keep exist okay um, then I want to hide also this uh, boss I want to make a little clearance for my boss because it is uh, quite tight to the uh, to the boss so I want to make some little clearance by using this push and pull feature of course you should make this clearance to make sure uh, the ball can move freely but if the clearance is too too big or too high it will make a uh, little noise or maybe unstable for your bearing maybe it will be 0 0.1 like this okay and i want to make this uh cage only for this middle or this feature so i want to make this as a shell by clicking this uh, surfaces and make the thickness let's say 0 0.5 maybe okay and i want to make it as a mirror part so i use this body and utilize this plane to mirror or maybe use this middle plane okay that's all so i can so i uh, can make everything visible again okay that's all for this tutorial i hope it helps you i hope you enjoy this video and please leave in the comment if you want to if you want me to make other video about uh, Fusion 360 or other mechanical engineering design part. Thank you for watching.